So, good afternoon. It's Gary Champion, Saki Medium once again, with some stuff from the other side. Uh, I was eating in my usual burger place today, and um, things were slow. I don't know why. It's been raining here a lot. Perhaps people stayed home. Uh, and I've eaten there for a long time. I know a lot of the people there. And they at some point have noticed that there's something different about me without me ever saying what I do for a living. They just, I've said too many oddball things. And this is a day where there wasn't much to do. So they kind of came by and I gave little readings without really saying what I was doing. And they just sort of smiled as if they knew and didn't ask. And one of them was a young girl who came over with um, sunglasses on. And I said, are you incognito today? And she said, no, the operation didn't work on her eyes. She had had a corneal transplant. And she said, I'm not going to go through it again. It was just too painful. And I said, no, no, you got to do it one more time. Uh, you infected that eye because you work here and you were always rubbing your eye, getting E. coli and whatever. You know, all meat has a certain amount of E. coli in it, believe it or not. I'm not going to say what E. coli is, but you know what it is. And she kept rubbing her eyes because when stitches heal, they, uh, they tend to itch. I explained this is normal. So she was doing this, reinfecting her eye every time the medicine they gave her for antibiotics couldn't overcome it because she never stopped doing it. The corneal transplant didn't fail because it was a bad fit. It failed because she didn't take enough precautions. And they want to redo it again. She says, I only have two or three days to decide. And I said, well, you got to do it again. You can't give up now because if you stop doing that, it takes and you're good to go. And, um, a couple other people came by, and this doesn't normally happen. It's just a slow day. One in, one day out of the year where they were probably, and I noticed my burger was cold by now. <laughs> they had delivered it, and I'd sat there. And, um, and then someone said, spiritual endeavors count. I thought, well, that's, that's a video. And what it means is, I know what it means, because I have Leo did a video about it last year, where... When you help somebody without recompense, that means you don't get paid, um, you gain spiritually. It elevates your spirit to something different than what it was before. Random acts of kindness have a purpose. And those engage in them and do them often feel the difference. If you're a taker, this isn't your video. Go someplace else, click off. This is a site for giving. Anyway, um, it can't be, and you, and uh, I'll give you an example of what not to do. You know, the people who are the church roof in Notre Dame or whatever burned in France, maybe I've gotten all that wrong, but that's what I'm gonna use. And these companies are pledging millions of dollars. Well, that's a drop in the bucket. They're not using it because they care about this place. They're using it because now their name is on the internet. They gain $10 million worth of advertising just by doing that. And now they're the good guys. Their sales go up, their stock goes up. That's not what I'm talking about. The guy that gives a million dollars and says nothing, he does it out of the goodness of his heart, or she does it out of the goodness of her heart will gain spiritually, the person who does it for economic reasons will not. I don't want to say either one's bad. They're going to get, get the roof fixed. So I guess they're all good. One's a little bit better because one, the giver gains. The other one, you probably can't save them anyway. They're in their money grubbing little worlds. Everything's about money. That's all they ever think about. So yeah, let them, let their stock go up. Let them crow to each other about what a good deal they did when inside they're all laughing knowing we didn't do a good deed. We did it for money. And um, 
my I had a friend in high school, and we used to occasionally end up uh, changing tires for people who had flats out on the highway or stuff like that. My father used to do things that we didn't know about until after he passed, that he had done some many, many good deeds and just never talked about them. He gained spiritually from that. Had he went around town yapping about it, then no. People would have seen for it for it was. He need he needed to be, uh, but that's not the truth. Daddy did it because he, he just cared about people. And people who do something seemingly helpful, but it's really about they need a stage, they need applause, they need laughter, they need attention or money or all of the above. And you're not doing it for the right reasons. You're doing it for someone saying self-aggrandizement. You're trying to make something about yourself or yourself more important than you really are. Most people aren't that important. They just tend to think they are. And the truth is, once they pass, no one, no one remembers them. Short period of time. Spiritual endeavors count. Try and do a little bit of it. Sometimes it's hard. I have done that, and every time I saw that person, they had their hand out wanting something, and so you, you, they've ruined it for you. If someone begs for something and is always talking about you giving them something and you give them something, that's not the same. You're giving, and if you can do it anonymously, even better. You can slip a twenty in somebody's pocket when you know they can't pay their rent. That's the right way. If you give a 20 to someone, stick it in their pocket, and you say, look, I gave so-and-so a 20. Aren't I a good guy? You probably go backwards spiritually. You don't go forward. Anyway, that's the end of my little speech about eating a burger today and spiritual endeavors count. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.